Kaylin. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thanks. Um, so, tell me, what is Swocket all about? Swocket is a smart socket um, and an iPhone app. Um, and the socket is connected through Wi-Fi with the internet. And we don't want your iPhone to be a, a remote control. We want it to be really smart. So it adapts to your behavior. It gives you feedback about your energy consumption. But not you don't have to read charts. Like it speaks to you in a chat. Okay. And what, what exactly does it do? So when you're in the park and um, you're checking on your um, Swocket app, you can um, see how much energy you've saved. It says things like, yeah, you saved some energy today and um, shows you percentages from the day um, before and how it changed. Or it says, if you use this device five um, hours less, you can take a whole bath with warm uh, water. So even people who who are not into smart home yet can understand how it works. In Beta House we work from the 1st of July. We, um, we're here in an accelerator program of Deutsche Bahn um, and we're sitting in the third floor. Mm -hmm. And we have also um, a European funding um, also in an accelerator program in Hamburg. So um, we get a lot of support mm -hmm. doing our products and have a lot of workshops where we learn a lot. Hi, Ren. So you're also one of the co-founders of Swocket, right? Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for um, giving us some time. Um, so tell us, why did you get into the smart home industry business? So I love science fiction and I see that a lot of the things that were considered science fiction only a decade ago are reality now. But there are also, also things that um, are kind of like unfulfilled promises um, of this whole science fiction thing. So for me, smart home is one of these. Um, and I kind of want to help um, making science fiction become reality. reality. That is the cool part of science fiction. That and so I guess uh, it's been a sort of a learning learning curve for you, I can imagine. It definitely What would been. you say is sort of the biggest mistake you've made so far? Um, actually, the biggest mistake is I think that we tried too hard to avoid mistakes and were a little too careful because, yeah, as everybody knows, you learn from mistakes and we've been really hard trying to avoid mistakes that we could have learned from if we made them earlier or if we made them at all. And we are now going to the reception area where we're meeting the next member of our team, Isabel. So Isabel, what advice would you give to other founders that would like to start up their own business? Um, I guess maybe the biggest thing is to make sure that your team is happy and healthy and that you sort of take breaks and you don't work yourself late. And especially if you're friends before, you should maybe invest some time and energy to be friends after too, because the constant stress and the constant effort and like launching a company can be very like, stressful and very straining on relationships. So you should make sure that your personal relationships don't suffer from it. So how do you guys manage to do that? Um, sometimes we take weekends and we go out together or we take to get to dinner together and then um, we hang out after work and take breaks together and go for lunch together. We do a lot of stuff together. So um, why did you decide to um, come t to Berlin? Yeah, so all of us already lived in Berlin before we started the startup because we think it's an awesome city, has awesome people loads of um, um, culture, awesome food, awesome parties. So, and then we started the startup and found it's an awesome city for startups as well. There are loads of hacker spaces, co-working spaces like Beta House where we're, where we're at now. And yeah, then we just decided to stay here with the startup. That's great. And um, so I guess you've had many challenges and you're probably proud of a lot of different yeah. things, but what would you say is the thing that you're most proud of? Mm, I guess I'm most proud of that we have been doing this for six months now and that we're still friends. <laughs> Sometimes it has been hard, but yeah. And so uh, you, you, you continue, you're going to continue yeah. working together we're and pushing continue, this forward? Um, continue working together, hopefully continue staying friends because we started as friends and yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much. So you're the fourth founder um, of yeah. uh, the company, right? Yeah. All right. That's perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah.